We live in a very special planet, the Earth. It is the third planet from the Sun, and sometimes it is referred to as the Blue Planet. This is because our planet consists in 70.8% of water. The existence of water and the temperature and pressure conditions allow life to exist. We are living beings, surrounded by other living beings. Animals, plants, fungi, algae. We all need energy to survive. However, we don't all get it in the same way. Humans have built many, many things. We use clothes, we use cars to go from one place to another, we live in fancy buildings, we created big cities, and we light the streets of these cities. We use nature to inspire our creations. Some cars, they even look like wicked animals. However, it's not just its appearance. Cars manage energy in a very animal-inspired way. As animals do, cars need to feed themselves from an external source. Animals eat either plants or animals who eventually eat plants. On the other hand, green plants and some fungi and algae are able to transform energy straight from the sun, hence being almost independent of any external source to survive. They have cell walls with cellulose and characteristically obtain most of their energy from sunlight via photosynthesis using chlorophyll contained in chloroplasts which gives them their green color. It's not only cars that need to be fed. Laptops, buildings, post lamps. Even our entire cities are like animals that need to get their energy from somewhere else. But what if it would be possible to turn our cities from zoos to gardens? By placing solar panels in our cars, in our houses, in our laptop bags, in our street lamps, we could manage to let these devices to get its energy from the sun in a very similar way to what plants do. It would then be a plant world, a green planet.